This is a far bigger issue than what people really believe in Tasmania. They have no idea what's going on. We do know that the continuance of logging destruction is contrary to public opinion. So we know uh, that some other influences are at play. We know from national disclosures that there have been big donations from the timber industry to both the big political parties, including the government here in Tasmania. One industry has hijacked not just the state parliament, but just about every aspect of our lives here in Tasmania. We have been hijacked by the logging industry. People don't understand what happens uh, in these logging areas. They think it's all clean and lovely and nice and Somebody goes in and cuts down one tree in the middle of the beautiful forest and then leaves all the other wonderful trees standing. They have no concept of what happens. We took a friend of ours down into a logging coop F44A looked at some of the trees there and said, but they can't log these. These are old growth trees. And 10 people with their arms around the trunks uh, wouldn't be able to span that tree. How do they cut them down? And he said, oh, they don't cut them down, they blow them up. What happens after they blow them up? Well, they clear fell the site. And then they, the helicopter comes over and drops incendiary material and burns it. And then before they can replant the, the seedlings, uh, they put poison carrots down, because otherwise the animals would eat the seedlings. And finally, there's nothing there and there's nothing alive. And then they replant. This land will take four to five hundred years to rehabilitate, assuming we're not getting such changes in our climates. Chemicals are a big problem in the streams in Tassie. That's, they're found regularly in town water supplies. We've had water testing done and found 2,4-D, the simazine, MCPA, atrazine. In Tasmania, we are using chemicals that are totally banned in Europe. Totally banned. Corruption in Tasmania? Well, you're talking about the, the very substance of the place. It's, uh, everything. Forestry Tasmania, on behalf of the Tasmanian public, sells its wood very cheaply to guns. If guns wanted to buy its wood from plantations, it would have to pay about $35 a tonne. Forestry Tasmania sells our native forest to guns for only $15 a tonne. We condemn countries like Indonesia for 
uh, desecrating their forests. And we send money to Indonesia to try and help them stop doing those things. And then we do exactly the same thing in our own country, in one of the most beautiful places on earth. The whole industry is completely dependent on government actions and what Guns is doing is taking advantage of a very weak government who has agreed to be complicit in what is basically a transfer of wealth from the Tasmanian public to the shareholders of Guns. What we have to do in Australia is recognise that we are in a global crisis and that we need to protect our forests. Governments failed to recognise that without environment you have no economy. For a plantation to get any carbon credits, you've got to be in for eight years. These plantations have a, a cycle of about 15, 20, 25 years no carbon credits there, in fact they add to the carbon. The world's population is heading towards 9 billion at best and maybe 12 billion or more at worst. It is about time that governments all around the world and in Australia took some notice about the food supply and how we utilise resources so that we can feed people. We've got to have access to food. We can't eat wood chips because our body can't digest cellulose. It's a problem. Every new plantation that we put in, every piece of environment that we destroy, we're ruining our chances of having a financially sustainable future because we're playing at the absolute bottom of world commodity markets. We've had 30 years of propaganda about you save the world by planting trees. And I'd suggest that uh, a lot of people should walk through a tree farm and see just how much of the world they've saved because you'll find absolutely no biodiversity in them at all. Individuals can beat powerful companies, governments, anybody, if they join together and they're prepared to stand up and be heard. It's like being invaded. You don't have a real choice of whether you're going to fight or not. You can run away, but uh, not many people would want to be running north with the climate going the way it is. A lot of the people are scared to speak out. They won't speak out. They have a right to stand their ground. This doesn't seem like Australia to me.